What a day. What a day, what a day. I tell you now, lads, uh, it's not just the uh, Boomtown Rats that eat Mondays. When we're under the cosh down at the brewery, it's all hands on deck. Yo! Hello, a croeso i Dom and Dangos. Te vi Dom and mindy Dangos i chi, rai on noida and waka Cymru. Lledni, ni yn Wrexham. A be gora i neid yn Wrexham, na i ddod i Wrexham Lager. Mm-hmm. Much and crazy, but a path in other that path has seen need not on Ashton in My name is Dakhle in Live Lounge. My name is Dakhle in Tiny Rebel. Then I share my nights out really in Dakhle. Then him and rack some lager. Also the him obviously I've had rack some lager. We should just go about sit my lager and call it crazy. So the most important thing in any beer is obviously the water. Okay. It makes up about eighty percent of the beer itself. That's why it was originally set up here. Welsh water is actually the ideal. For brewing. Oh wow, oh wow. The first step, what we call grist transport, which is just basically we're just picking the malt and putting it in ready to start brewing. Okay, okay. Basically it. This might be a dumbass question right now, but what is the malt? The malt is the main ingredient of any lager or ale. Okay. Yeah. Malt ferments the alcohol, main ingredient. Remember that, take it to your grave or whatever. A dry crud bed. See Dangos share my pop of the dach in it. We've been tame novel, come on go down and save it for in, have our Alcohol roam V. My body just tingling, my bum's jiggling, it's unbelievable. Mar malt demand oven in, eat German engineering van hin. Mashing in, mashing in, mashing in. The mash in my path that I've been talking about, my dach I did with van in. My hand really, really, boy, have it. Ooh, man, I'm fucking have it. That's gonna be our la lager. Yeah. Brother. The hot water is making the malt release all its sugars and its enzymes okay, into okay. the liquid, which later on in the process, the yeast is going to interact with that. And, and make the alcohol. You tell all of and Charlie and the chocolate factory, mate. I feel like Charlie fall into a vat. <laughs> Augustus Gloop. Man, I rubbed eight as sexual, I'm hun. Beata. Just teasing. Oh, he's bursting. Oh my God, he's going. So, baby, just in a vena, well, gas is well. We've been running our process now. It's bark or salt vena, balance out the pH. Nothing crazy. All the malts and the liquid together are going to be transferred from the mash kettle to the vessel across from it, which is the Lauterton. The malt's going to fall to the bottom and form like a filter bed, and the water will stay on top. We will draw the water through the malt and back into the mash kettle to separate them. Beer Adid, absolute unit, Emma. My name is Faru Beth, or 1980s sci-fi movie. This basically gives us a good indication of what the work is going to look like once we remove all the malt. We can see as it's flowing through, no bits or anything like that in it, which is what we're after. Just going to start going from this vessel here back into the mash kettle. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's in time lot, that pride he great your rule in. Yeah, it's nice to work somewhere where you grew up and there's a big, rich history in Wrexham. So Wrexham Lager reopened uh, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. um, having shut down before, but uh, originally they've been brewing since 1882. I mean, Wrexham Lager has been reinvented by uh, the Jones family, mm -hmm. uh, the Roberts family, actually. Yeah, we got that one around. Yeah. Uh, over the last 12 years or so. Talking about raising the profile of Wrexham, Mr. Ryan Reynolds, yeah. Rob McCallney, how's that been? A more of a positive energy uh, flying about the town now uh, since the takeover and the expectations and now through the roof. Sadly, it doesn't happen overnight. If I went out round town in a brand new suit, doesn't mean uh, that I'm going to find the love of my life uh, overnight, does it? But, uh... hey, you never know, you never know. <laughs> Wear that hat and it might work for you, brother. My hun van in, a liquid and van 8,800 pints. Or malt. E box up. Why more here at the end of We normally start at eight in the morning. We normally finish the brew at half past three. Allow for about a week fermenting. We'll take the yeast off it, transfer it into one of these big tanks behind us, uh, our conditioning vessels, and it'll sit in one of these tanks now for about six weeks. If we can leave it longer than six weeks, that's what we tend to do mm -hmm. because the longer you can leave lager, the more conditioning you can give it, the better it's going to be. So we need to go out that process. processed. We need to go out canola process. I done that. Came up off than God fed. A dude, a malt, the heat, the steam, and now even in. Oh, come on, then bead and sit my dear, have the demand and Kali need. You tell me about the pop F now. Connor, brewmaster, what a guy, knowledge on 100, big bootlegger, Welsh icon, caddy guy, just the uh, god fan. Pour a pint bath in. Don't judge me, <laughs> I don't work in weather spoons. Yachida, the old Gonna go and have some fun now. <laughs>